What is going on guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me lakeside and I'm actually on B2 at the Linear Fishery Complex and um, to be honest I've done last night and I got absolutely done. I mean there's fish all over me but I don't know what I'm doing wrong but um, they were sort of crashing. I played with zigs, I played with bottom baits, I played with I've just Basically I've done it all, I was up most of the night Hence why I probably look absolutely terrible and I'm absolutely really, really tired to be honest with you. But the gentleman next to me, Nick, I've sort of been speaking to him. He's had five now and the person before that has actually had, um, I think he had 11 and I actually got a 38 pounder on, which again, I'd, 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 I'll touch on later on in the video. But um, it was unbelievable to be fair. He come down and he was having double takes and, and again, Nick this morning had double takes down there. They're definitely down that end and um, three or f about a week prior to that I think it's done 17 fish one of this particular peg on B2 so they're all down this end the, the fish but the peg next to it you can't get a bite on the guy before nothing he was in here for 48 the guy before that nothing he was in here for three days in this particular swim I am but I am doing everything in my power to try and nick one and that is exactly what I'm going to do on this session so I'm going to bring you my journey it's only going to be a quick one guys um, so you've got about 24 hours left for me I've got to leave tomorrow about midday it's me Ian Rob and Nick down here and like I said hopefully fingers crossed I can um, get some fish on the bank for you so before we start this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and hopefully hopefully this video will be an absolute banger I'll see you in a bit. Then guys, so what I've done is there, I've just topped up with a little bit of bait um, over the spot, five or six spoms. To be fair, over the duration of the last sort of 20 hours, I've given them a bit of bait. But what I wanted to do is, before I touch on anything else, guys, I've got a bit of footage of the gentleman with a 38 pounder um, just before I got in the swim. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put that up on the screen now, and alongside a little bit of footage I've got of Nick, which is the gentleman next door to me, and I'll sort of play that now so, you, so, so you're not missing anything so we're up to date with the video so check this out so here's Kane with his new PB what was it mate 38 pound? 38 pound <laughs> go on boy Be rude not to get in the water with this one. <laughs> what a shot! 38 pound B2 in its winter form again, and what an absolute banging fish! <laughs> Go on, Kane, smash it, bro. And there it is guys, we're not going to get it out, but it's probably a what, it's got me, probably another 20 pounder isn't it really? 22, 23. Yeah, happy days, a few scales in the back, we're finding the last sort of couple you've had have looked very similar haven't they really? Yeah. Come the bigger ones, but now fair play mate, smashed it. So as you can see the first one there was an absolute banger beautiful beautiful fish a tank it was and um he, he was catching him sort of very quick and uh, very 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 quick just over to my left it was it, it was it was quite crazy to watch to be brutally honest with you um went up brung the stuff back to the tent he's got another one in the net went up brung a bit more back he's got another one in the net so it was literally going off and i think that's been happening with everybody's that's been getting in that mpeg and obviously after that, 
the nick got in and like I said a uh, bit of footage there I think he's on, I think he's on five now um, all around that sort of between 20 and 25 I think the biggest was around 26 27 around that so it's a good 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 stamp of fish you know you can't grumble with that but there's plenty of 30s in here to be had so it would be nice to get onto them bigger stamp of fish again I haven't had anything yet guys but last night I was up most of the hours doing everything I could in my power playing about with zig um, zig depths um, you know spotting accurately everything I could have I could have done I'd done and it just didn't happen it was very frustrating as well because like I said earlier in the video they were there they were boshing over the top of me you know and it's oh you think what am I doing wrong but anyway positive vibes and um today hopefully just hopefully i can like i said i can nick a couple just one would be nice but a couple would be lovely um i've got another chance this evening i think they're going to move out of that bay again they're definitely pulling up in that bay but i do think they're going to sort of slowly start moving out and then hopefully tonight i can take full advantage of that adapting what i need to do whether that be fish zigs fish on the bottom and uh, i'll do whatever i need to do to catch some fish really so that is the update for now guys you're fully in the loop with where we're up where, where i'm up to now in the video and like i said i've probably got about 20 odd hours left i'm going to be leaving tomorrow about 12 o'clock it's one o'clock ish now so that's the update for now and uh catch you up in a bit again just so i can get you get your bearings here i'll sort of show you what's going on so this is nick's peg over in the corner there and um that's sort of right down in the base the last peg on b2 that you can fish you've got all this bit of water to yourself and there is loads of fish coming down so what i think they're happening is at night time they're slowly coming out they get into about here and they were just crashing all around here so this is my swim what's down there in the mud look at it carnage absolutely carnage here mud behind me i've got my waders on i'm fishing out towards this tree and it's very very deep also got one just off it as well but again i've been playing about with um zigs etc as i said earlier and um nothing as of yet but anyway that's my swim i'm sure i'll touch on that look at this mate So if I carry on through up here, you got you got Rob swim. <laughs> How's it going, mate? This is um, Marquee here. Look at that, absolutely massive. His makeshift mat. I love that. <laughs> Lovely. But rods are out. I know Rob's sort of fishing, sort of out out towards this sort of point bit but like you say that ever since we've been here the wind's been trickling down this end absolutely uh, relentlessly to be honest it hasn't stopped since we've been here it's been trickling down it's definitely um uh, calmed down a bit but it was more aggressive yesterday i would say the wind was a little bit more aggressive and obviously the wind the rain was absolutely crazy it was horrendous weather again but as you can see it's absolutely massive b2 but everybody around this side that, that all them pegs were booked i don't think that's really done any bites and all the people that i spoke to along this bank again don't think it's done any bites or maybe one i think come out yesterday so just up from this is then ian i'm not going to go up there but that is ian up there so again if he catches anything i'll keep in the loop guys it's nice for ian to be back out and again there's someone you've probably seen on the channel before he was last video we'd have been in was the was the b1 video and if you haven't seen that guy go check it out we have numerous 30s and a fish just under 40 pounds that's definitely definitely worth a watch but again you can sort of just see that tree of where I'm fishing and again if I look down there there's my peg and just down there is that tree where I'm fishing and like I said right right down the bottom is where everybody seems to be having it off lately and you can sort of actively see that on social media as well 15th coffee and that's my view from the bivvy I've got a little JRC set up today 15 years old this bad boy is but I am one comfy man i tell you that so all i need now is a couple of fish and that will just make my trip we've got the big one show this coming weekend i'm looking forward to we're not trading this year but we will be next year but i'm looking forward to heading down there and potentially picking up some bargains but that's the coffee done mate happy days two o'clock now and the rain has just started coming in i didn't think this was going to happen today but it's definitely i'm um, picking up I would say the wind's getting slightly more aggressive than earlier but it is raining out there so hopefully that makes the fish drop down but I did just get a single beep on that left hand rod and no birds in sight over there, coots, wildlife etc so 
fingers crossed that means there's fish out there dropping down and hopefully feeding so nothing was happening so I had a bit of a play about middle rod out towards the tree but what I've done is I had about an eight foot zig on I've dropped it down to about two foot and put a worm on I sort of borrowed some off Nick next door give me a handful of them left arm rod just off that and then what I've done with that one is, is a little bit of zig foam I'm still fishing on the bottom but sort of like a runny sort of star if you like but a big ball of worms on the top but on the bottom because Nick has been having all of his fish on worms so it'd be rude not to at least give it a try so that's what I've done on them two rods I'm a right hand rod I've got my generic um, sort of OG fruit and nut wafter out there so fingers crossed peeing it down absolutely caked in it look at this horrendous but we're fishing in the rappy. Come on the carpies. Well, it's half past four now and it's time to start thinking about rigs. I've just made up three little booms there, beautiful little booms. Fresh and sharp hooks with different coloured kickers on the end there. Give them a try. I really need to redo them rods before dark. There's plenty of light out there at the moment, but it sort of drops really, really quickly. So, I think the next plan of action is to slowly do the rods, but one by one, starting off with the right and then work my way across, and that's what I'm going to do. What I will do is later on, I'll probably touch on sort of my bait and approach and how I've been doing that, because I put quite a bit of bait out to be fair, but then there's plenty of fish in there, and there's plenty of fish out in front of me, and there definitely was last night, and I think there is now, but it's um, hopefully I'll just switch on and drop down and have a little bit of a feed. But time to start getting them rods out one by one. Wow, that is the middle and the left rod out. Really happy with them, and I mean, I'm, I physically couldn't be any more happy. I know I just set up my tail now; they went down absolutely beautiful. They're about a foot, a foot off each other, and I've just put about six bombs directly over the top of it. So I'm literally going to leave it now. But I've done it before, before the commotion because the fish, in about an hour's time from now, we started seeing them showing them progressively going on all the way through till four in the morning, where they eventually shut off. I think that's um, my bobbin just recovering there, but it would be lovely. It really would be lovely to um, nick one tonight. So, pray to the carp gods. I'll keep you posted throughout the throughout the night. The night shift begins, if you like. <laughs> I've got a little bit of food bit for you later. Um, I've got um, Emma got me a Thai curry thing, so you add water to it. So that's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for that, and I'll uh, see you in a little while. <laughs> So it's dinner time now, and this is what she's what she's got me here. So it's a spicy Thai noodle curry thing. So I'm going to try this. I can't tell you the price of that, guys, because I don't know because it was bought for me. But I'm going to give this a go now, and um, apparently I've just got to add some water. So I'll keep you posted. Right, I've literally there's a lid thing. Wow, well, sorry, inside there's a line, and I've poured the water up to the line. Just put the lid on now. I'm going to let that fester in there now hopefully it tastes nice look at this waders on ready to go rods down there the night time coming in even though it looks really light on this camera and I cannot wait but I'm going to be one disappointed man I tell you what if I wake up in the morning I still haven't had none I'm going to work through the night if I can I'll try and get video as and when I can guys tonight but it's going to be a hard one it's going to be a hard one because I want to just focus on watching the water so right well there it is I've just had a mouthful I'm not going to video video that but wow really tasty actually and quite spicy it's almost like a posh pot noodle <laughs> lovely jubbly let's get this down me dinner with a view now for a coffee 
just the generic cappuccino things. I ain't got anything fancy today, to be fair, which is a shame. And I just put a little bit of milk in, and then they're banging. Oh, that's done already. Happy days. Right, well, it's one o'clock, and I don't know if you're getting that, guys, but first one for me. Well, happy with that. Not even £20, but it's a fish. I'm not going to get any pictures of this one, guys, but again, there's a good gauge. Sort of a skinny, smaller one, that one. But a fish, and I'm happy. Anyway, let's get this one back and get that rod back out. Right hand rod. OG fruit and nut. Bottom bait. New wafters. Happy days. Thank you very much get you back right well update on the night shift that right hand rod is now back out and it got a nice little crack hit clip lovely so I physically can't do no more than that just gone one o'clock come on the carp and come on the OG fruit and nut <laughs> drop your phone mate <laughs> <Not good. laughs> oh, right well the realness, um, I just woke up and um, yeah, very, very hard through the night again, guys. If I'm honest, I can't sit here and say I, I had much more action because I did and I had that one. I'm glad I nicked that one, but it's been hard, it's been really hard. I think Nick had a <laughs> lost one, so I'm glad I've had one. I think Rob next door and Ian ain't had nothing in that sort of just round from me, but yeah, very, very hard, very hard. It's just gone nine o'clock, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I've now got till probably about half past 11. So I'm gonna slowly start doing that pack down now, and uh, hopefully I can make one before I leave. Oh, gutted, absolutely gutted. One thing I am looking forward to, guys, in a video that will be coming to the channel very soon. I'm actually filming with my good friend, Kev, um, so the videos over the next few weeks will be um, myself at Monument One, right up country. Monument, Monument, sorry, Monument Two. I'm fishing, not Monument One. Monument Two with Kev. We're on two big, two good pegs. We booked it. We booked it months ago. To be fair, so I'm really looking forward to that next week. And I'm there for 36 hours from Monday. So again, that will be a video that will be coming to the channel very soon. So stay tuned for that. But the pack down will probably start to begin now maybe I'll do it myself a coffee in a minute but I'm not looking forward to it it's so muddy so muddy I'm going to be putting all my gear away horrendous so I've got to try and keep it as clean as possible so I'm not got all muddy rods reels bed chair tent etc for when I go away Monday so the joys <laughs> right I'll see you in a bit well, there's a there's an update for you there. Just started coming alive there. So just shouted over to hey, you get on then, mate. So oh, I've had eleven now, <laughs> eleven. So they're definitely, definitely in that bait. One thing this morning is this, the the wind has definitely swung and it started coming out the bait. The whole time I've been in the last over forty five hours, it's just been pushing into this bait. So whether that's going to change anything, but yeah, fair play to Nick. 11 fish on this session like I said definitely top rod on the whole lake now without a shadow of a doubt they've all been down this end and it just goes to show if you can get a peg isolated on the corner you can absolutely clear up and it's a shame that um well definitely somewhere I'll, I'll, I'll be looking in to get next time I come down here if it's free and the fish are showing it there 100% but um I'm, I'm, I'm happy this session I got sort of close to where the fish were so Again, another hour or so, another couple of hours, but there's always time. There's always time to nick a nosser, so <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. God, I'm tired. <laughs> wow, well, slowly getting there. Still a bit of carnage, got all my buckets out. Obviously, Rod's still looking keen there. Back bottom of the barrow now filled up. Wind's still trickling down the opposite way it has been the whole time we've been here. But no fish in this thing yet, guys last hour come on a carp well, I'm over with Nick again and um, he said to me he's got half decent one so we're gonna get out in a second he still needs to get his rod out but yeah look at that nice common mate go on mush 
Look at that. Lovely. Lovely, yeah, fair play. We'll definitely get her out and have a look very, very soon. Happy days. <laughs> He's in again. <laughs> Go on. I've got a spare landing net, I'm on the right. Yeah, no problem mate, I'll sort it now. <laughs> the man who can is in again. What's this, fish number 13? Yeah, Go on boy. Happy days. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Lovely fish. I think you might be right, mate, an 820. 27.7. 7. Go on. Right, so there it is. What an absolute beast. All falling to the worm, mate, wasn't yeah, it? All worm. Yeah. All worm. Fair pleasure. Let's get this other one out and have a look. Happy days. Fish number one um, on the release now. So we'll get... Look at that, lovely. Now, fish number two is just over here. <laughs> oh no. You in? Wow, I don't really know what's happening now. <laughs> oh, no. oh. That's the other line. Proper randy bite that was. So we were dealing with the common then, put the common back, let it go, and then the, the, his left hand rod sort of cranked round, hit into it nothing, but we've sort of come to the conclusion I think it is, or was, a trailer. So. Now, um, we've got a fish, like I said, there's still a fish in the net over there. Obviously, he's just had to redo his, quickly doing his rods, and then I will be showing you the second fish. But what Nick's nicely let, he's very, very nice of him. He's turned around, I sort of said, look, can I punch a rod over there? And he said, mate, crack on, there's plenty of fish over there. So I've managed to punch a rod, probably six, five, six rod lengths off the back of where we spot. So very, very, very much appreciated that is. And hopefully, just hopefully I can nick one, another one before I go, because the fish are clearly over there. Um, it's definitely, I wouldn't say it's this sort of swims water, but like I said, I asked Nick and he sort of said, yeah, no problem. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we can nick a nosser before we go. And I've probably got about another, I've ma I managed to get probably another hour or so. I know I said earlier an hour, but I've probably been able to squeeze another couple of hours because something's come up and I'd have to get my hair cut now this afternoon. So, good morning, the nossers. <laughs> So there it is, fish number 13, if I can get that camera up there, fish number 13 and uh, another one that fell to the worm and another 20. Most of them have been 20s mate, haven't they? Yeah, all 20s. <laughs> 13 20s. 13 20s. What a session. Happy days. Let's get her back. Right. Look how muddy it is, but I've just put the bivvy away. It's absolutely horrendous. Look at this. Just keeps going mud everywhere but nothing on these two right hand rods or oh, sorry the right hand rod <sighs> time's ticking well last bits now last knockings but look at this he's in again 
<laughs> He's in again. Look at this. Fish number 14. Come on the Nossa pig. Is this the Nossa of all Nossas? This is it. <laughs> it's a Honda, mate. It's a Honda. Well, then it's definitely the Nossa of all Nossas. <laughs> Come on. Come on, the 30. Come on, the 40, mate. And 26 four, four scales across its back. Three on the door so <laughs> about four on the door. Oh here it comes. Again guys we're not gonna get this one out but definitely another twenty pounder and uh, slightly darker. Slightly winter colours. Yeah winter colours looking lovely. Which are we gonna give it? 23, 24 maybe? Yeah, 24, 23, Lovely, 22. lovely, jubbly. Four scales. <laughs> so there it is, that's what's been doing the damage. Some sort of fake casters on there. Big old ball of uh, worm there. Some chop, some not. And then another caster on the bottom there. But that's what's been doing the do. Nice big hook. On a helicopter sort of set up there. Well in, mate. Smashed it. Wow. Rods are out now. Oh, sorry, all the, the alarms are in now. Bank sticks. Oh, Rob's in this swim. He's going to be moving in. Fingers crossed he can bag one. He's got a few more nights. And obviously you've got Nick just over there still. No more fish yet. I don't reckon it's going to be long and he's probably going to get another one. Right then, guys, that is it. That is my session ended here on B2. And what a session it was. I've definitely, definitely learned some bits while I've been down here and that's the main thing when you're fishing you know if I can take something away from this session which I definitely have done and there will be things that if I was to fish this again this is my second time on it um, I would refine and do differently going into the next session on it but obviously the swim to my right has been producing and Nick to be fair giving it to him I think he's had 14 fish now and he's probably I think he's got a couple more nights so he's going to do a few more fish a so fair play to mate it's blooming good angling very very good angling um, and also Rob and Ian unfortunately this session so far I haven't caught anything Ian's leaving with me now he's driving home but Rob obviously is jumping in this so it's going to be interesting obviously i've got rob's number he watches the channel he's a customer of park of h as well so it's going to be interesting to see whether he nicks one and i'm hopefully he does because he's going to keep fishing over the spot exactly in front of me well, obviously where i've been sort of putting the bait out of the duration the 48 hours but unfortunately not had anything off it but like i said i've learned something from this um session the og fruit and nut didn't let me down because i did nick a fish this session so i didn't blank which is absolutely fantastic but hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys and if you have give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and i'll see you same time next sunday 7 30 peace out all the best